Hey guys, Bradley here at True Outdoors, and today I'm reviewing the High Point Archery 3-in-1 Camera Mount Bow Stabilizer. So to kick off this review, I'm, gonna, I'm shooting at 20 yards with my Bear Arena 30. I am going to be comparing this stabilizer against the Trophy Ridge Dart Stabilizer. That's the one I've been using and my bow is very, very, I mean there's like no shake in my bow. It's super quiet. That's one thing that I love about the Bear. Um, so I'm going to be testing it to see if I can tell a difference in the actual stabilization of the bow and if the bow is even shootable with this great big bulky GoPro on it. So uh, let's get into it. All right, first up is the dart stabilizer. And I've already shot with this, but I'll see how, if I can tell a difference in how much the bow shakes in the footage after I shoot. This is my shooting with the dart, so not bad actually. Alright, next up, shooting the camera mount stabilizer without the GoPro, then I'm going to shoot again with the GoPro. Alright, so I couldn't tell much of a difference, there may have been a small difference, but it was very, very small. Could not tell. Um, I'm not really focusing on shooting real well, but I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how I shot. Alright, this is with the GoPro stabilizer. So, not as good of a group, but I was kind of in a rush too. Alright, last shoot. I'm putting the GoPro on to the stabilizer. This is a GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, I've got it on 1080p at 60 frames per second because that gives me image stabilization. So that's one thing I was curious about is even if this thing does work well and I can't shoot it, is the footage even that good? And the problem with the GoPro is going to be, I mean, I've cranked it all the way down to the narrow field of view. And I think it's still going to be really wide. Like, the field of view is um, how much it can see. So uh, we're going to test it see how it goes. Alright, so here's my best shooting of the day so far. Those two arrows are kissing each other. And I've got one flyer there that I think I rushed. Alright, so I think I actually really like having the GoPro on here because it adds some weight, which makes the bow tip more, which is supposed to be better for your shooting. But I honestly am really liking having the extra weight of the GoPro on there. And it, it almost feels more stable because there's more to be... There's more weight here to suck up even more vibration. Um, I'm going to shoot again, only this time I'm going to face it this direction, facing towards me, because I think that'll add a really cool second angle when I'm hunting. And I don't think facing the other way, it's really going to be that great, because the GoPro is so wide, it just can't zoom in on something that far away. Um, I'll see is that once deer season comes around, I start shooting more, and I might change it. I might do something else. But as for now, I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it at this angle. This thing, and um, this green part is actually a flashlight holder. Um, if you have the right size of flashlight, you can stick it in that flashlight holder. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend this. Um, I really like it. I think it stabilizes well. Um, every bit as good as that $15 Dart stabilizer. Um, the weight is not a problem at all. I think it actually will help you to shoot better because um, I, I just feel really comfortable with that extra weight on there. So um, now I'll put the link in the description below, but it is pretty expensive. It's 45 or $50 on high point archery. So um, if you're willing to spend that much, I know there's other stabilizers on the market that cost that much. Um, so you might be willing to pay for it, but 
I really like this. I think it's worth the money. And big shout out to High Point Archery. Thank you guys. They sent me this and two other products that I will be reviewing. So um, be sure to go check out their website just because they were nice enough to send me this stuff for free. And I will definitely be using this stabilizer during deer season. One other thing I forgot to mention about this stabilizer is it's got three mounts. It's got a phone mount, a GoPro mount, and then just an ordinary thread screw so that you can put any camera you want. So really the possibilities are endless with what kind of camera you can put on here. So um, that's a very nice feature that they put on there also. Oh, and by the way, sorry I haven't uploaded for like three weeks. I was on like a 17 day vacation. So I've been gone for a while, haven't been able to upload. Um, I will be back on a regular schedule soon. Um, I did not kill a turkey, unfortunately. Had some good encounters, you know, hunted hard, but just wasn't able to seal the deal this year. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit more, but um, thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.